Snagit video capture tutorial, how to use Snagit for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you guys how you can get started with Snagit. So let's get into it. Now Snagit is a platform that enables you to capture your screen in the form of screenshots and videos and this is actually super helpful in terms of building knowledge bases, product documentation, or any other kind of ticket resolution service as well because they enable you to capture things and automate a lot of those things. So. I have downloaded the Snagit application and uh, you have to download it and then install it and I have already done that step but you can just go into techsmith.com and click on free download to begin your free download of the Snagit application. It is available for both Windows and Mac devices. So once you have downloaded the application, I'm just going to open it over here. So this is just, you know, a random screen that they have as their beginner's tutorial screen, you could say. And now I'm going to give you guys some of the features of Snagit. So in their features, you have your favorites where you can favorite anything. You can add arrows into your screen captures. You have text, you have callouts, shape, stamp, fill, move, selection, blur. And then you also have other options like Simplify, magic wand, crop, cutout, pen, highlighter, steps, easier, magnify, and spotlight. Now, you might be wondering why do I need all these complex features to screenshot something? Well, let's say I'm building a FAQ page for my website, like this one over here, and a person is asked, How do I proceed to the checkout? So, for that, I want to build something for them. Now for that, what I would do, instead of having to, you know, individually take pictures of all of this, I would open up the thing that I want to teach them. I would open up Snagit and I can click on library. Now in the library of Snagit, you actually have a bunch of different templates as well. So if you click on create and can click on image from template and you can see basic two-step portrait, basic three-step portrait, four-step portrait five-step landscape, uh, beach day portrait. So you have a bunch of different options that you can choose from. Now, let's say I have uh, a three-step one. So I'm going to click on drag to swap and I can enter the title over here. So it might be how to check out and you can add the caption over here as well. So first add item to cart and then you have your image. Now for your image, what you're going to do is you're going to enter the uh, screen cap that you can take. So for that, you can click on capture and you can click on the top over here. You're actually going to get this as a uh, top uh, selection as well. You can get this as a top selection. So it's going to be pinned up. If you are using a Windows device, it might be pinned down. So I can click on image. I can click on region. And let's say I want to just select this like so. So I'm just going to give it all the permissions that it requires like so. So once the request has been permitted, now I can do screen captures. Now I'm just capturing my screen or snag it. And now once I've done that, I can click on save. It has been added over here and I can use any of the multiple different tools that I have. So let's say i want to focus on a certain section i can click on magnify i can choose to click on magnify over here and now people have a magnified section so you have multiple different magnifying options on the right side of your screen and let's say i want to crop some of this as well like so i'm gonna crop maybe the bottom section as well like this now once i have added my image i have simplified it i can click on this and i can click on add to photos or i can just download this photo so it will be added to my photos or you can also just leave it as it is so uh, once a item has been uh you know created you can click on apply or just you can copy this and you can click on drag to swap so you can add your image like so so you can just drag and drop it like this and then you can add your next image just screen cap it and then add it as forward so let's say the first step is adding to cart so after a person has added the item to cart people are supposed to click on view cart so for that i'm going to click on capture and i'm just going to capture this little section like so and then i'm going to use the magnify tool and I'm just going to flip this like so. And then once I've done that, I'm going to move back to my template. 
and drag and drop this and you can you know zoom this in as well create a larger version you can add more descriptions you can uh, increase the size of the images that is totally up to you but i'm just going with the basic template and once i've done that let's say the next step is to after the card information is to enter your personal information so i can take a screen cap of that and then enter that so in this way you can really simplify a lot of things and the best part is with snag it you don't just have like a basic screenshot so so after that if i want to begin creating videos i can click on over here and you can see you have multiple different options now i'm just going to open this up and i'm going to just delete these because i don't want any of these recent items and i'm going to begin creating a new item so let's say I click on capture and I want to capture a video. I can choose what region I want. So if I want it to be full screen or a specific region, if I want to record my webcam, let's say I don't, then I can click on capture and I can choose if I want the microphone recording or the system audio and I can begin doing video captures as well. Not only that, but you can also do videos from images as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with this simple video capture and recording software. So just as another example, let's say I want to build a onboarding tutorial on how to find cake recipes on the how to cook that blog. So I can click on snag it over here and I can build a video recording and I can also choose to record my webcam. So if there is something that I need to make a video recording for, so I can choose to explain with the webcam and in the webcam, you even have multiple different options to where your webcam is going to appear. So at the bottom left, bottom right, full screen wide webcam. Now, if I turn this off over here, I also can select a region that I want to record instead of recording the entire screen. I can preview an editor, capture cursor. If I don't want the cursor to be uh, visible, I can remove that. I can record the microphone or record the system audio. So you can choose to record the system audio and for that you have to install a simple. So you can open your security preferences and this will allow you to enable the uh, extension if you want so you can authorize it like so like this so like so we have some of our system preferences but now let's say i want to record my microphone i have microphone options as well and you can select whatever microphone you want then you can just click on capture now i can record where i want my screen so let's say i only want my screen to be recorded from the section of the url to maybe this section i don't want to record the bottom or the sides and i can do this now below that i have my system volume i have my microphone volume i have the minimum height and width and i can also do screen caps while i am recording the video so this is just another amazing way that you can optimize uh, your tutorial building you can build faq pages you can do a lot of great things with this and let's say i want to blur certain stuff so let's say i want to blur the ads on the side i can just use the blur tool and just like that, I have blurred out the ads that are present on the side. I don't need to show them or display them to my, uh, you know, tutorial viewers. And maybe I don't want, you know, free ads. So I can choose any type of ads. And there are multiple different blur styles that they have. You know, they have the pixelated blur. They have a normal blur. And they have the intensities of blur as well. So you can choose a less intense blur if you don't want a more higher intensity one. You also have magic wand tools now this tool can enable you to select a certain item so let's say i want to select this person and then i can crop this person or paste it in another section although it doesn't work as perfectly as some other background removing tools but in terms of just doing some basic shapes and objects it can work pretty well with your screen captures as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video